Hold up. Hey guys, my name is Shelby Downey and welcome back or to my channel if this is the first time you're here. Hello! If you guys watched my previous video, I did a art supply haul so I definitely suggest you go check it out because in today's video we are taking this lovely, lovely colourful acrylic paints and we are swatch testing them to see how the pigmentation dries and how they are. I will leave a pop-up and a link below to the previous video, so make sure you go check that out. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So I have already primed half the section of the canvas. You can actually see on the camera that the priming ends over there. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, no, okay, well in person you can see it <laughs> in this lighting. So I have got my, this tool, and the cloth, and all the paints. And I've got a pen as well that I'm gonna write down all of the names next to them. Also the angle is kind of strange, so I'm sorry. This is such a nice color. So normally I always wear my rings, but today I don't have them on because I was gardening earlier. So I took them off and I just haven't put them back on as of yet. But after I shower just now, then I will put them back on because I never go without my, my rings. Like I, I honestly feel naked without my rings, it's crazy. This yellow looks so pretty. Yellow deep, that's what it's called. Look at that, can you see that? It's really pretty. Oh, the orange is called orange. Super original. Oh, this color is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. is stunning. Holy shit. All I want to do now is paint lavender. This color is stunning. Oh my word. This color looks even better out of the tube. Shit. See, this is the green that I wasn't sure about because in the tube it looks like neon, iridescent. Yeah, okay, the paint looks pretty similar as well. But maybe it dries a little bit like less intrusive and invasive. Um, but I think even like if I had to mix it to be a tone, it could be really pretty. It's actually less iridescent like on paper to be honest with you but it is still okay no it's still very iridescent <laughs> Pressed with this black, and now we're on to gold and silver. Okay, 
Okay, so here's what they look like wet still. They're really, really, really pretty. You can, I mean, look at that gold and the silver. It's like iridescent as all hell. These colors are really stunning. I'm so excited to see what they're going to look like fully dry. Two hours later. Okay, guys, these are the colors dry. How absolutely, like, the white is so white. How stunning are these colors? Like, look at that gold and silver. And look at that black. It literally looks like a black hole. Like, it is so pure black. And that gold and silver. Oh my god, it's so iridescent. Guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with these colors. It looks incredible. They are so pigmented. I love them. So guys, I'm really chuffed with these paints. Like, I can't believe how well the swatches turned out. Like, the pigmentation is there. Like, they're, they're really stunning colors. And, like, if I had to mix some of these and, like, you know, create different tones and hues and stuff, it would be stunning. And they're more affordable than, like, high premium end products. And, like, it's great. Like, I cannot actually wait to paint with these. They are so, so good. So just looking at these swatches that, like, how they turned out, I am so unbelievably impressed. And I would give it, like... A solid 9 out of 10. I am super super impressed. Um, the, the actual paint itself is like really creamy too, which if you like that, that's amazing and I do. So I'm super super impressed with it and you know what I really love about like buying paint like this is you can try out a whole bunch of different colors in the different like hues and you can see what you like and you don't like. So, I mean, let's say for instance, I absolutely adore this color and it runs out. I then know, okay, cool, I love this color. I'm gonna go buy a big tub of red, but I'm not gonna buy this one, for instance. So, I really like that. I think it's, it's really smart. And like, it puts you out of your comfort zone a little bit too, you know? Because you get some colors in here that like, you don't wanna waste them. So you're like, okay, cool, well, what could I potentially make with it? or mix and create something really cool <laughs> so yeah guys i'm really impressed by these paints i'm so excited to paint with them and yeah solid nine out of ten rating for me these are so so nice um i'm super impressed by the way that they've dried and they've held their pigment even more so after they've dried like it's insane like like, they were really pigmented when I, like, swatched them. But now that they're dry, they seem even, like, more pigmented. And this gold and the silver. I'm obsessed. It is so shiny when the light catches it. Oh, my word. And this black is, like, black, black. Like, it's not giving off any reflection. It's just, like, a pit. Like, a black hole. I'm very impressed. I'm so excited to actually paint with these. So excited. So, so excited. So excited. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative, I guess. And if you're wanting to go buy a set of um, acrylic paints, I would recommend these ones. They're really good. I can't wait to paint with them. If you guys like this video, uh, please give it a like and uh, subscribe and uh, I will see you guys soon with a new video. Until then, be safe and make wise decisions since. Hold up.